Uh, good afternoon everyone. Today is August 3rd, 2014 and I'm walking into the Cheshire County Department of Corrections with my friend Garrett here. We have a hundred bucks for our friend Rich Paul. It's been raised through generous donations at gofundme.com slash gorichpaul and also at Porkfest and we're gonna head in here and use a little machine that lets you put money into a prisoner's commissary account so that they can spend money on things like sweatpants and peanut butter and maybe some sodas or some creature comforts. Uh, also important things like stamps and envelopes so that Rich can communicate with the outside world and above all the most important thing is that he has access to a telephone. Um, he can actually call out to anybody he has a phone number for uh, using a new debit card system where he can buy a debit card for the uh, phone system and then he can call out to basically anyone instead of calling collect. So right now we're waiting here. Uh, normally they buzz you in. Uh, Garrett has to push a button and then the uh, surveillance here, they see that we're inside. They say, okay, we'll let them in because it's a secured facility. Hey, I'm looking to use the uh, cash for the commissary machine. Do you want to make a deposit into a commissary fund? Correct. And that, that name, or that uh, voice, sounds familiar to me. Uh, was a guard from Vermont. I f I'm forgetting his name at the moment, but uh, I remember he was a guard who had been awarded a pistol uh, target shooting prize for being a, like, a really good target shooter. Okay, so here's what we've got here. A uh, hundred bucks. And then... Um, says this machine does not take uh, one dollar bills, interestingly enough. I don't know what the fee is for using this uh, system, but I've got a five dollar bill just in case that helps some way to cover the, the fee just for using the machine. So let's see. Uh, how do we begin? Touch screen to continue. This is the Windows start icon on the bottom too. Interesting. I wonder if you should hit that. Well, it does say start. 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 <laughs> I guess that's not how you start. Okay. We'd like to hacer un depósito. Efectivo solo. Este facilidad. Me gusta inglés. Alright, so enter resident. Name or we want enter to last first and last name. Yeah, let's, let's do, do that. that. Sounds safer. So our friend Paul Richard. No. Maybe we should just try submitting with what we have. Yeah. Invalid date of, date of birth. Well. Is it on Facebook? This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. So now we need to know his birthday to send him money. Uh, okay. Maybe we can find out his resident <laughs> number by using the. Uh, Website. I believe the inmate list on the jail's website has people's birthdays on it. Okay, it also allows you to look up the resident number. Last time I tried to send Rich money, I did it online, and I was able to look it up just with his name and the facility. Yeah. Uh, which one think would think would be enough information. Well, I've got my phone with me, so I'll just look it up on my phone. Completely useless place. Actually, nope, I put my phone in my purse, so that's out in the car. Let's cut this video, come back with a number. Or maybe they can give us this number. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe sure. Yeah, the non existent bell for the non existent service. 
Oh, hi, Becky. Thanks for your help. That sign is always there. I can't imagine she works here 24 7. Okay. Well. Can you? Not a whole lot of info here. Yeah, I'll just, uh. I'll just go to my car. I guess, will you be able to let me back in then? Sure, I'll hang out here. Okay. Is it unlocked? Uh oh. Thank you. Okay, so you saw what that's about. The government's not very high-tech, are they? I mean, he's right in this building, and we're holding cash in our hands. And we want the ability to give that cash to the man inside this building. But in order to do that, we have to go to a website and look up his number that somehow, you know, they come up with a new number every time he's in there can't just use his name. I have to know his name and his birthday or something in order to send him money. Or you have to know his number. A ridiculous set of arbitrary rules. Can't wait for the government to collapse under its own bureaucracy and allow free people to thrive in a way that makes more sense. The things the government does never make any sense. That's, that's my biggest trouble. Well, the, the violence they inflict on peaceful people is my biggest trouble with them. But secondary to that, their actions make no sense. Their silly demands. All right. Hmm. Well, this is really becoming a problem now, because I don't see my phone. I think I left it at the house. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Well, I typically don't leave the house without my phone, but today it was plugged in, charging, and Garrett caught me off guard. I came unprepared today. Damn. Well, let's see what happens when I come back with nothing. Maybe one of the people working in this facility can uh, help let me in. Oh, look, something's happening here. I recognize that guard, but I've forgotten his name. He was one of the guards who processed me. That's what they call it when you enter the jail. The guards take your fingerprints and your mug shots and collect information to identify you in their government databases so that you have a file so that you can be registered, so that you can be rank and file with the rest, goose-stepping into tyranny. Okay, let's see what we can do here. All right, Garrett is letting me in. Nice, thank you. Now, unfortunately, Garrett, I left my phone at home. I have my two-way. Hey, maybe the two-way can answer our question. Yeah, you can pull someone up with their internet access or knows Rich's birthday. Yeah. So right now I'm going to use this two-way and see if I can get an answer. This is Dapper Dan. Does anyone have Rich Paul's birthday or inmate number? Not hitting that repeater. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's not hitting the repeater, huh? So, uh, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to speak with the person, right? Has anyone come out yet? Nope. Somebody's walked by, but it didn't inquire. Okay, maybe you can ask somebody. 
use this phone to speak to an officer on duty. So okay. I guess this is like the bell. Okay. All right, I hope they don't say this is wiretapping. Oh, right, right. Well, well, I don't know. I'll stand back. Okay, I'm going to close up mine so they don't keep me away. And I'm just going to stand back and listen to you. visitation lobby and I'm looking to use the commissary machine but unfortunately I don't have the inmates uh, number or birth date it needs that information Richard Paul Okay. N one zero dash one two nine one. 